Hello beautiful, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to do a super trendy Korean nail design. Today's feature comment is by Darla Mabry from Ohio. Thank you so much for your beautiful message. I'm sending lots of hugs and kisses your way. Okay, so we're going to start with the application and the first thing I'm going to do is take a super thin and long brush and I am going to use white gel paint to draw two vertical lines and two horizontal lines to create a grid effect. As we make these lines, we need to cure them under the lamp so the product doesn't run to the sides. I just wanted to mention that so you guys keep it in mind if you want to try this out. Sometimes it can be difficult to reach the sides of the nails using a long brush, so you can use a shorter one to complete the lines before curing. We will be doing this design on the pinky nail, and then we're going to repeat it on the index nail. I haven't used molt in a while, you guys, but I had to use this one because one of the characteristics of Korean nails is that a lot of them have bows, so this mold ends up working perfectly. To match with the lines that I drew at the beginning, I chose to create the bows using white acrylic and this is also going to create a beautiful contrast with the soft white that she has as a base on her nails. While we let the mold dry, we are going to apply a layer of matte gel on all the nails. Ironically, this gel is Japanese and not Korean, but hey, it's been one of my favorites for many years. It's a bit pricey, but it's worth it because it's one of the few that I know to be long-lasting, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I don't have a discount code, but if you want to take a look at it, it's from the company Presto. After curing and removing the sticky layer from her nails, we're going to apply the bow on the ring nail using a little bit of nail glue. Something also very characteristic of green nails is that they're blingy, so we're going to apply crystals on the pinky and index nail to fit into that style. Guys, please don't ignore this part. If you don't want the bow to get tangled in your hair, especially when you're washing it, you have to seal it with acrylic. So, story time. When I was learning how to do nails, I once applied a bow on my nails and I didn't know that I had to seal it and it ended up getting stuck in my hair and breaking a lot of it. And I am one of those who takes a really good care of it. I mean, I apply natural oils, mask, etc. So, seeing it break like that it was not fun at all and I most certainly don't want that to happen to you guys. Trust me, I'm trying to avoid all that pain. Going back to the topic, we're going to use a tiny dotting tool to apply dots around the bow, and then we're going to cure them under the lamp. Oh, and I think I forgot to say that I also applied a tiny crystal in the middle of the bow. After curing, we'll finish off with cuticle oil to leave her hands smelling really good and also to hydrate the area. And my loves, this is the final product. I hope you love this Korean inspired design and thank you so much for being here with me today. If you guys found value in this content, please don't forget to share, subscribe and click on the bell. And if you'd like, you can also check out my website where you can find all my products to create stunning nails with me. May God bless you, use you and I hope you continue enjoying my channel.